Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the Rossler's Long Range Readers session. My name is Giora. I'm a pre-sale engineer at Rossler Security Products, and thank you for joining us on this presentation. But before we start with the presentation itself and dive into the details, I would like to share with you a few facts about Rossler. Rustler is a global leader in the access control domain. Rustler brings 40 years of experience in the security area and delivers advanced solutions across the globe. Rustler owns multinational in-house R&D teams, product design and manufacturing capabilities. We develop, manufacture and sell products to all major markets supporting our partners to deliver projects of any complexity and size from a single entry access point to multinational corporations with most demanding requirements. I will present you today in this session, the Rossler's long range readers. We will see that we have a variety of long range products in Rossler. And in this presentation, I will run you through every each of them and talk about their capabilities. We will start our presentation with the Rustless UHF Smart Long Range Readers family. Rustless UHF Smart Readers are long range UHF RFID contactless card readers that can reach up to 39 feet. It is about 12 meters. They can be configured to read up to 70 credentials within the read range. They bring versatility, multi-credential support. And what's great about this UHF smart family is that you have a couple of different ways of activating it. You can use your Bluetooth, but you also have an UHF card and you can uh, use a UHF sticker on the windshield of your car, or you can do a UHF hard tag. They are ideal for general purpose access control installations, but especially suitable for outdoor use in a wide range of RFID applications, such as transport management, vehicle management, car parking, and production process control. They support BLE, supporting Bluetooth communication for Rustler BLE AD smartphone apps for Android and iOS, turning the mobile into a soft credential, taking advantage of the convenience of, and flexibility of mobility. And keep in mind that the BLE technology can be used not only for the implementation of soft credentials, but also for management and readers setup. Installers can configure a wide range of operating parameters and field adjust the readers using our Rustler BLE admin app for Android and iOS that we will talk about later on. Dual factor authentication by reading both UHF and Bluetooth BLE, enabling dual credentials policy. As we have quite a number of identification possibilities here, using different kinds of credentials like UHF card, UHF sticker, UHF hard tag, and BLE, it is possible to combine the different credentials and implement dual factor authentication, meaning the user, the car holder, will need to use two separate credentials, one of the UHF RFID credentials and the BLEID soft credential on his mobile. He will need to use the both of them in order to grant access, resulting in enhanced security. And it is an easy management with the Axox NG system and the BLE admin administration mobile app, bringing new level of convenience and productivity. And here we can see the AYU 915 and the AYU 920. These are very reliable products, fantastic sellers, very affordable. These readers really have a reliability factor that makes them money makers. The initial cost is very low and the reliability is very high. They are very popular all over the globe, especially in condominiums as they can create a very nice solution for customers that need gate control. And regarding distance, these are log distance readers. The UHF reader read range is up to six meters for the AYU 915. 
it is about 19 feet and up to 12 meters 39 feet for the AYU 920 and there is support of single or multi-credential read modes this product can read up to 10 credential per second for high throughput applications or down to one credential per second all according to the customer's needs it is programmable and there is selectable Wigan output format it is 26 bit out of the box and we also have about two dozens of different formats we can work with it can be customized we can support mostly any Wigan output and if one of these Wigan formats doesn't work for the customer we can develop or can build custom format also support of OSDP as output format so it can connect the host controller by OSDP and it does not have to be Rosler's access control panels only, but a third party system as well. It works with almost every third party controller. And as they are also Wigan readers, they can be used on any Wigan system. And we have a lot of them installed in the field with, and not just on Rosler systems, but other systems and applications as well. And RGB LED to indicate different situations and statuses, active, error, initializing, and so on. It is IP65 rated for water and dust resistance. So it is an easy installation at any environment, indoor or outdoor. It comes with a mounting bracket, so it can be pole mounted or wall mounted. And you don't have to buy a separate aiming kit when you install it as you have to buy with some of our competitors. As we, Rossler, we have LED and piezo built in, so you don't need an aiming kit. And here there is also a new nice and important feature, the protected mode. The protected mode is a feature that allows our customers to filter out unwanted or disallowed credentials, and that at the reader side blocking these credentials from being transmitted to the host controller, resulting in reduced system traffic. With this new feature, with the protected mode feature, when the reader reads the UHF credential, the reader checks first whether the tag belongs to its group of approved credentials, and only if the reader detects that the tag is appropriate, the reader transmits the ID data to the control panel over Wigand or OSDP protocols. Only approved credentials will be delivered to the host controller to decide whether to grant access or not. In any other case, the reader does not transmit the identification of the tag to the panel at all and doesn't overload the controller with irrelevant card information. And that way, not only increasing on-site security, but also reducing the traffic to the controller, improving system usability and availability. With Rossless UHF Smart Long Range Readers, your mobile is your new credential. The UHF Smart Long Range series supports mobile apps as soft credentials and as management tools. We are actually talking about BLE technology that applies for both soft credentials and management tools. I will present to you now the Rossless Smartphone apps. These apps will allow you to turn your smartphone into a virtual credential a soft credential, and actually make your mobile your new credential. In fact, we are talking about two main applications. The first one is the BLE ID used to identify the user, and the second app is the BLE admin used for configuration and reader management. It enables the administrator to configure the reader and do all the key settings. These apps are local installation on your mobile device, no internet is needed since the app resides only on the smartphone device and works in the background. It can be installed on a wide range of mobile devices currently on the market, mobile devices that have the Bluetooth functionality, the Bluetooth technology. Each credential is unique to the device, so when you install it, the app, it utilizes the MAC address of your phone and creates a virtual credential based on that information. It is a touch-free operation, which is really important nowadays with the COVID-19, and it is used all also for remote enrollment. The range on that is about 39 feet. 
It is about 12 meters. It is an easy operation. You just open the app and choose the specific reader you need. And we also developed a new SDK for the BLE ID app that allows a third party easily embed the BLE ID SDK within its own apps and authenticate users to the Rustler BLE readers with these uh, third party apps. The long range readers family creates a very nice solution for your customers that need gate automation and gate control. Doing that along with the LPR system, license plate recognition like, uh, system, and along with the long range RF readers, the L23 that we will talk about later on. One of the common applications that are implemented with the long range reader family is the car parking management. Our system is built in a way that it is really designed to manage a parking area with a gate. You can manage an area and you can even have multiple gates and multiple areas defined, meaning that you can manage multiple parking lots based on the number of vehicles in the parking lot. So, you, so if the lot is full, you don't let anybody else in. And yes, we can actually trip a relay to turn on a light or a sign to tell that the lot is full. What's great about this AYU 915 and 920 long range family is that we have a couple of different ways of activating it as we mentioned. You can use your Bluetooth, but you can also have a UHF card. You can do a UHF sticker on the windshield or you can use a UHF hard tag. We do have a guide that I wrote explaining where to place the stickers because it is important to remember your higher end cars that have rain sensing wipers this car have lead in the windshield, and that is how they activate the wipers for moisture. So in some cases, the leaded glass is less dense in certain areas. So if you are using the UHF label or sticker, and we have two types of those ones, one is tamper-proof and one is non-tamper-proof, if you are using this UHF sticker, keep in mind that you want to place that sticker in an area that it is going to get its best read. And like I said, I, I wrote a guide with a complete chart as to where is the best areas to place them on the windshield. You can find it easily in our website. We also have an RF solution as well, the AYL23 long range RF readers. This is actually a receiver, not actually a reader, but it looks a lot like our readers with the same format. It outputs Wigan protocol and it occupies a reader port on the access control panel. So it functions as a reader in the full sense. It comes with a two buttons and a four buttons fogs. These are wireless remote control transmitters, the SA23B2, which is the two button fob, and the SA23B4, which is the four button fob. When the L23 receives a command signal from the fob, from the wireless transmitter, the L23 outputs the ID number to the attached controller. So these fobs can be considered just like another type of credentials. You can assign them the user ID and you can also revoke them. If somebody loses a fob, you just go disable that code and then it cannot be used anymore. And regarding range, the L23 can receive remote control signals from up to 70 meters. It is about 230 feet. It has excellent RF performance. So again, it is perfect for a parking lot or a gate situation. It actually has double wiring of the back, supplying two outputs and two relays. So you can control two separate doors or two separate gates with this one reader. And with the two button fob configuration, you can have door one on button one and door two on button two. Meaning each button on the two button fob can be registered to activate different output in the L23, transmitting different Wigan numbers, like having two different credentials. And please note that due to its two outputs and double functionality, this reader can bring some cost saving here. And this is the place to explain the difference between the two button fobs and the four button fob. The difference between the two is that with the two button fob, 
button one is always going to output on the A channel, and button two is going to output on the B channel. So you can have an in and out configuration on a gate, like two readers per door, button one for entry and button two for exit, or you can have one reader per door configuration for each one of two doors, button one for opening door one, and button two for opening door two, whatever configuration you would like to have. And this was for the, for the two button fob. The four button fob is always going to output whatever code on the A channel only. But you have four different codes as you select the buttons, meaning you, you can assign every button a different code. So with ACLink in the background, you can control up to four different operations. You can open, you know, one of four doors or four gates or turn on a light or a siren or whatever. It takes a little more setup in the background to do it, that's all. And for an implementation example, we, can, we actually can take the following case. We have one of these L23 readers installed at one of our customer's house. This customer likes to leave his garage and be up to speed when he hits his gate at the front entrance of his property. So he wants to be able to fly through that gate. So he gets into his car and from a distance, he hits the button on his fob. And by the time he gets to the bottom of the driver, the gate is already opened and is at road speed, whatever that is for that particular day. So there is all different ways you can be creative and meet your needs or meet the needs for, for your customer without L23 long range readers. And since the L23 has its own in, in internal two relays with whom it can operate two doors independently without the need of external control panel, the L23 can operate as a standalone controller using the SA23B2, the two buttons fob that outputs two different Wigan IDs from its two buttons. And it has selectable Wigan output format the L23 can output different Wigan formats. It can be 26 bits, 32, 34, and 40 bits. It is selectable according to the customer's needs. And it can work with almost any third party access control panel that supports standard Wigan protocol and has an available reader port. It can be attached to that controller as a reader input and led to indicate different situation and statuses, active, error, initializing, and so on. And of course, it can be customized, customized according to the customer's needs. And there is an internal bother built-in that sounds when the unit successfully reads an RF signal. The L23 uh, is fully potted, so you can use it uh, on indoor or outdoor installations. It is optical tamper sensor for case and wall tamper detection. If somebody tries to rip the reader off the wall or open the unit case, an alert will be sent to the Axox NG system. And regarding design, it is a modern, slim design and it is really a very cost effective solution. The cost is low and the benefits are very high. Okay, that's it. Thank you for being with us. Here is my contact information, my email and my cell phone. If there's any question on what we have covered so far, you are more than welcome to contact me by email or by phone. So see you then, and I wish you a great day. Bye.